everything you think about recreational shark fishing and toss it over the side. Anglers at this research-driven sporting event compete against each other without boats. To earn points, they'll need to safely catch, measure, photograph, and research tag all qualifying sharks before releasing them back to the wild. Land-based shark fishing in the Black Tip Challenge? Ha <laughs> ha! It's like nothing you've ever seen. on previous episodes of the Black Tip Challenge. It's a shark! Yeah, uh, you can't pull in the leader, Hank. I'm gonna try to get a man out of that. They're fishing the north, but they got, uh, they got one on. They could have had a more than that now. Right, third rank, 68 for the overall rank. You're watching the 2009 Black Tip Challenge Land Bay Shark Fishing Tournament. Now let's hit the beaches and see who's fishing and who's catching. Brooks and I are planning to probably head south sometime close to sunset. Uh, we've got Zach and uh, Team Rubble down there. Yeah. And those guys are uh, notorious for, for putting some big fish up. This is a little behind the scenes in the land based shark fishing workshop here. We got Zach working his, uh, his mojo. You want to just uh, introduce your team, Team Rebel, again for us and just tell us a little bit what you're doing here. Well, gentlemen, Team Rebel, this is Jeff, this is Pat. We uh, reeled in this bait here because uh, we didn't think it was out far enough. We had a little uh, deployment issue earlier. So um, just hooking up a 40 pound bridge line here. The current and waves are a little stronger than usual. So we're using a little bit larger bait here, double line, so it doesn't fry it off. Always want to get the beauty to cinch down on the corner there so it doesn't slip out. And basically what happens is, it goes out there to poison it, drops the bait first, then the brick, reel it tight. That's all there is to it. And this is where Jeff comes in. So for you football fans out there, he's gonna be getting in a kayak in the middle of the night. Distance-wise, you'll be 200, 150, uh, something like I that? I think we're going to drop this one relatively short again. Um, maybe maybe 100 yards, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, we we kind of let Zach determine. He's, he's the leader. And so Zach's in charge. Things are a little scarier than I thought. But. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Damn, son. I like it. Uh, that, black uh, that feeling. Heads or tails? I want tails. We do absolutely anything we can to release every shark alive. There's no reason to be killing these sharks. I mean, the numbers have gone way down from even four or five years ago. If you're gonna harvest a small black tip to eat or something like that, yeah. more power to you, that's within your regulations. But a trophy there, fish just there, to hang a fish. You know what, there. there's no reason you have to kill a trophy fish. Those are the big breeding fish. Those are the ones that are responsible for putting more numbers back into the environment around here. We are already making an impact on younger kids on the piers and beaches who are interested and they're wowed by the pictures just like we were right. when we were younger look like wow i really want to do this i want to be up close to this we're younger communicating with them so they buy into it even more that's why we try to just promote conservation to what we can about it i mean i'm not a tree hugger or anything no I neither mean, am i but it's about enjoying the resource exactly and, uh, i want my kids to be able to do this we were the, basically the only two people out there in the app. Fish off. You wanna grab that camera shot? Come on. Do you really want to hurt me? <laughs> I just want to <laughs> You better watch your head, Pat. This fish is in motion. Are you on there? I don't know. Zach, we're getting some nice hits and some solid runs on these baits and uh, something strange is taking place. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what's going on here. Not really, uh, not digging it though. 
Not digging it, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely better than what's going on up in the nether regions right now with the black tips and the little balls, but, you know, trying to catch the big fish gets a little irritating sometimes when you get strange pickups and stuff like that. I mean, that first one was strange enough how it missed that whole back end of that oh, rig, yeah. period, but. Well, these are definitely bigger fish we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Definitely not the uh, target species of the north. What happened? Oh, my God. Holy wow. That's good, Zach. Man. Nice. Nice. Dude, these are smart sharks. Look at that, dude. There's a, there's a big section missing there. Oh, oh. Come on. on! He hit it right in the middle. You gotta say it's right shit, just like man. that. What the f man? That's, That's a good sized fish. Look how wide his bite mark is. Uh, it ain't that big. Still, it don't have to be that big. Yes, it does. <laughs> We're off black tip fishing here. That ain't no black tip. Well, probably a cuda, small bluefish, but he yanked pretty hard, so we're all waiting for something to happen here. If anything, we got a little extra bait, right? Yep. Pretty sure it's gone right now. Must be cobia. Some, something, something with hump teeth. Wasn't a cuda. There was no boating accident and it wasn't Jack the Ripper either. No, it wasn't. We just don't know. It's it's a mystery. Last night there was uh, probably about six or eight of us out there and uh, about every 45 minutes a pack of black tips were coming in and uh, going down and hitting everybody's rotten away. We had some triples, two or three doubles on. I think there were about had to be 15 to 17 fish caught, or somewhere, at least a dozen, something like that. But, uh, not too big. They were all about right in the six foot range. Good time, had a good time. The tackle we got, standard pen 14 0. Nothing big there. Big, strong, heavy mono, aluminum butt, custom rod, big old rock for a brick. Big old slab of mama's home cooking. Nice piece of wire, just a little short. I usually run about a six to eight foot piece of wire going after the big fish. Is that like a number 19? Yeah, uh, this is a number 19. This is piano wire. I like to stay away from the stainless so it'll rust out of the shark's mouth if you gotta cut it. So stay away from the stainless. About 500 pound swivel. And Send her out there. He's right here. Who's gonna get him?
to your, your tackle and your technique that you're using here tonight, you're actually using a variety of them. Uh, well, we got an 80 wide uh, international that uh, we kayaked out right before dark, and it's about 200 yards out, and the bait, you know, it's tied off to the brick with the breakaway, and we got a stingray wing on that one. And then on the 50 wide here, I'm just casting baits out uh, in the trough for black tips. And I can cast pretty decent. Uh, I get a 10 foot rod, so it helps. But uh, just got a, base, a, a short leader on this one. That's like a 30 foot leader on the other one. It's a pretty short leader on this one though. And just circle hooks on both. And that's pretty much it. Not much to it. Now tonight so. you, uh, you already got one in. Uh, tell us a little bit about that catch. Uh, well, it was just after the sun went down and I didn't know if they were gonna be in here yet and I threw it out and I was about to, I put the rod in the holder for a second and I took about two steps back and the rod went off. It dumped a good amount of line uh, off the 50. I got 100 and drags pretty tight and dumped a good amount of line. And I didn't know if I foul hooked them or what, but when I got it in, it was just a monster, monster tip. Like, a, you know, I guess the uh, calculated weight was about 150 pounds, so it's a big one. Perfect is July, wind's blowing about five miles an hour, but um, this is a little different, so, but I don't know, somebody's got to do it, so. The next episode. Oh, and we're gonna surf a bit. Big fish. Big males. Let's hit the beaches and see who's fishing and who's catching. <laughs>